There is no worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is no true deity except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is no true God except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his servant, his messenger, and his final messenger. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala يقول قل للمؤمنين يغضوا من أبصارهم ويحفظوا فروجهم ذلك أزكى لهم إن الله خبير بما يصنعون So tell the believing men to lower their gaze they can only look into things that Allah سبحانه وتعالى made for them halal and not to look things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbidden, made it haram, and protect their privates from illegal sexual acts, from illegal things, which is looking at things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made haram for you. I know today we are so polluted, we are, we are in an environment which gives us no option we are in an environment which is so difficult to, get, to lower your gaze because you find everywhere you find in the magazine you find in the TV you find in the malls in the market they are everywhere but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us the commandments we have to follow it and we have to look into it. So, there are many ways we can prevent, as the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. Ya ahl al-shabab, man yastati' minkum ul-ba' fal yatazawaj. Wa man lam yastati' fal yasuf. Simple. So you can't lower your gaze, it's difficult, then marry. And that, it will increase it will decrease the person his sexual act and demolish his desires and temptations. And this is clear from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we should look into this at all the times when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding us. This is not a morality thing. This is not a man-made talk. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that وَقُلْ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ يَغُضُّوا مِنْ أَبْصَارِهِمْ وَيَحْفَظُوا فُرُوجَهُمْ ذَلِكَ أَزْكَى لَهُمْ So first when you look after your eyes, then it's easy to look after your needs of sexual acts. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also has given us وَقُلْ لِلْمُؤْمِنَاتِ يَغْضُضْنَ مِنْ أَبْصَارِهِمْ now, to the believing woman, those who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger, this is message to them. The believing woman, they should lower their gaze and guard their modesty, which is very important. And guard their modesty. And that they should do not display, that they do not display their beauty. They do not display their beauty out. And this is clear from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not my words. It's the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not to show your beauty only. And so on and so forth. Those are the only ones you can show your beauty. You want somebody to share with your beauty? This is you share with those 
with your father, your husband, and your brothers. There you share with the beauty. Not today. We have the Muslims. They became so ad ad attacked to it. They became so attached to it that they think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not give them a beauty. And they show in a way that the kuffar shows. We have to distinguish between right and wrong, and which that's Islam. And that is the Quran, Al Furqan, الذي يفرق بين الحق والباطل. So, not the brother, not the friend that you grew up with. Because why I take this example is that when I was young, I grew up with my cousins. And they were not put hijab on. Until I came across this ayah. Until I came across this ayah. And when I went into the tafsir of this ayah. And I said, you can only show your beauty. You can share all your hair. Only to these people. Not to everyone. And today, we have that in our minds. That we say, all oh, these young men, we grew up together. We used to go to school together. And we did so on together. So he knows my hair. He knows how my hair looks like. So I don't have to cover from him. He knows it. So he's his close brother to me. He's so close to me. He's my cousin. Your cousin is, he can be your husband and can become your wife. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not say your cousin is your brother. But these are the things that we have to notice. We take our cousins as if like it's our husbands. And we hug one another. And also families. And this is, a, this is clear. We find families kissing one another while the person is a foreigner. Meaning that he's not part of the family. He's not the wife or he's not the brother or he's not the father. And this is a clear. And this is clear for us. We should follow the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ So that we can be successful. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا يَضْرِبْنَ بِأَرْجُلِهِنَّ لِيُعْلَمَ مَا يُخْفِينَ مِنْ زِينَتِهِنَّ They do not strike. They do not strike the beauty. They do not show and they do not wear shoes that will make so much noise that you will pay attention. That you're walking and you pay attention or perfume that you're wearing that can attract everyone around you, can bring everybody around you. And this is always is happening in our, our world. It's happening in our masajids. It's happening in our Muslim countries. But this is what we have to look. We have to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us. They do not strike their feet in order to notice. In order to pay attention. The Muslims, they do not need attention. The Mu'minah. Do not need attention of a man to say, nobody's looking at me, I have to, somebody gotta look at me. Where the non Muslim, although she's married, she still wants somebody else to check on her. And that's what we do. And today, one of the other things that we can also prevent this friends. Friends that who can help you lower your gaze. Friends who can help you prevent things like this. Not friends who will tell you, what do you think of that? Check there. You didn't even see it, but he says to you, check there. Oh, you missed this. You missed that. Oh, rewind this. You missed this. And this is what we have. We are Muslims. We have to be submitted to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Turidun arad dunya Wallahu yuridu al-akhirah. You want this dunya, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want the akhirah. 
So why don't we all pay attention to the Akhirah? Why don't we look forward to the Akhirah? This is how we can control ourselves from looking at things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden from us. Keep in mind that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching you. Keep in mind that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching you. What did he say? Ya allamu khainat al-a'yun wa ma tukhfi al-sudur Ya allamu khainat al-a'yun Subhanallah La ilaha illa Allah La ilaha illa Allah Muhammadur Rasulullah Ya allamu khainat al-a'yun He knows the movement of the eyes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the movement of the eyes. The tricks of the eyes. So you can trick. You can cheat. يَعْلَمُ خَائِنَةَ الْأَعْيُنْ وَمَا تُخْفِ الصُّدُورِ And what the heart conceals. What the heart is hiding. What is hidden under the heart. يَعْلَمُ خَائِنَةَ الْأَعْيُنْ so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us this. وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِيْنَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُلَنَا وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِيْنَا The ones who strike in the part of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Strive in the part of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Strive in the part of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hard work. Al-jihad. النفس very important والذين جاهدوا فينا لنهدينهم سبلنا we will guide them to our parts we will guide them to our road we will show them the the way والذين جاهدوا فينا لنهدينهم سبلنا وإن الله لمع المحسنين and Allah سبحانه وتعالى is with those who do good so my dear brothers and sisters we can talk about this subject and give you many ayats that can clear to you this. But you only have to look what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. My dear brothers and sisters, this I hope will give you understanding of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his commandments. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and protect our eyes from the evil actions. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look after our eyes. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us.